in this tutorial we will learn some basic excel option features for the customizing this excel software okay so for customize customizing the excel you have to click file if you're using excel 2007 then you need to click on microsoft office button okay and then go to option or word option sorry excel option it's not word it's excel okay now we are going to some we are going to set some value change some uh, customization like first of all i'm going to set default to worksheet in a workbook like here you can see that we when whenever we uh, open a new workbook we always see here three worksheets so i really do not need three worksheet in my workbook so i'm going to make it two worksheet as a default okay so click on general then uh, here you can see when creating new workbook section here you will see include this many sheets so just decrease it by one and make it two and then click ok button now when you will create a new workbook it will create only two work sheet by default okay and the next one is i'm going to show you uh, how to disable auto recovery for your current workbook by using excel option okay so simply go to save and then click on this box and this is auto recovery ex exception for workbook to book to uh, means this is a title of excel okay so it really doesn't matter so if you want to disable auto recovery then click check this box and uh, click ok okay so and then you have done i'm going to do do this i'm just showing you how to how you can disable your auto recovery okay so then the next uh, we are going to do we are going to set the recent number of uh, document to be displayed but to okay so if you want to uh, set your recent document recent document means what means like when we when we click here like recent button then here we we can see lots of uh, uh, recent uh, documents which we have uh, opened so i'm going to set it with two and uh, these uh, will be not uh, available in the recent list okay so let's make it work how it works okay so just uh, oops click on file then go to option it is excel option then we are going to set the recent number so go to advance i think here it should be it should be here like let me search recent yeah, yeah uh, in the display section you can see so this number of recent document it means that my recent button has capability to show 25 recent items so i am going to decrease it by two then click ok now and you will go to your recent uh, section you will see only two recent document is showing here okay, so this is how you can set your recent number of document to be displayed okay then the next one is don't display grid lines these are grid lines okay so i do not want these grid lines in my worksheet so how to disable okay so let's see go to uh, go to excel option 
and click on advance button it should be here i think display grid lines let's search display grid lines oh, here here it is in the display option for this worksheet in this in the bottom of this section you can see the last option is so grid lines so just to check this box and click on ok and the grid lines will be disappear from your worksheet ok you know that only it disappear from the worksheet because there you can see it is saying that uh, display option for this worksheet this is a worksheet not workbook workbook means this whole document means worksheet 1 and sheet 2 and sheet 3 ok so this is how you can uh, disable the grid lines if you want to uh, if you want your grid lines and your worksheet check this box and click ok ok so this is how you can uh, enable or disable grid lines in your worksheet ok and the next uh, I'm going to tell you enable show page breaks because if you have any page breaks in your worksheet then how you will uh, recognize them so just simply go to excel option click on advanced button then uh, so page break it should be here here it is in the display option for this worksheet here you can see so page breaks just, just check this box to enable this feature and click ok here you can see that we have this is page break ok just scroll down this is page break ok and the next we are going to learn is uh, set the enter key direction to direction so that the cursor moves to right when you uh, press enter in a cell ok at present when we press enter it's move it moves to down ok so we are going to uh, change the direction of in uh, enter button we will make it to right ok down to right so let's do it go to excel option then uh, i think uh, advance ok editing option in this section you will see after pressing enter move selection to down it at this time this is uh, uh, the direction is down and we are going to change it um, you can choose any of these ok so i am going to choose right and click ok now whenever you will press the enter button you will see that your cell uh, selection cell is uh, moving to right <laughs> this is really good but uh, Okay, so this is good, I think. But we use arrow button to move it right, left, or up, down. Okay, so just choose uh, as per your requirement, and I'm going to make it down. Okay, so these are the basic need to customize your workbook. You can play with all these options which is available in the advanced category so just uh, do some experiments and um, learn as much as you 
again thanks for watching this video